cases have been rampant lately. To raise safety awareness among citizens, Janus Quarter Public Security has launched the Safety Awareness Month campaign. We'll be holding a seminar at the Lumina Branch soon. Please come and join us if you have time. A public security event? Oh, how nostalgic. I participated in such an event years ago, you see. It was somewhat reminiscent of a coffee tasting event. I even had the chance to offer everyone present some freshly ground coffee. Albeit, it wasn't a top shelf roast. Oh, it's a shame public security's facilities now smell of air fresheners everywhere. No longer suitable places for enjoying coffee while freely conversing. Um, what do you mean? Of course, while fine wines develop into richer experiences with time, other worthy items can go bad. Oh, I'm talking of coffee beans. <laughs> so, to prevent the coffee beans at my shop from facing a sorrowful fate, I have to go grind them properly. I'm afraid I can't make the event. Now, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Enzo, according to our data, you're running a remodeling shop on 6th Street. Would you be interested in attending the seminar? Well, hey, it's not often I get invited out by two young ladies, so I'd love to join you. Unfortunately, my second aunt's grandfather's son's cousin is getting married that day. I can't miss such an important family event. Huh, I understand. In that case, I hope your relative has a great wedding. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I have a customer coming soon to collect his car. I better get back to it. Good morning, Zhu Yuan, Jing Yi. Good morning, Wise, Bell. Here are our questionnaires. We've decided to attend the seminar. Wonderful. If it weren't for you two, we wouldn't have recruited a single participant yet. Ching Yi! That's blunt. So what? It's the truth. Besides, it's not like they're strangers, right? Yeah, right. But how come nobody on 6th Street wants to go to the seminar? Everyone here is usually pretty welcoming. Is there anything we can do to help? Now that you mention it, there is something I'd like to ask you. Some of the residents on 6th Street only registered their names, but didn't fill in their addresses. Do you know where they live? Oh, let me see. Asha, General Cha... Spike should be one of our members, an older gentleman. We know all these people. How about we help you take the questionnaires to them? That's a good idea! Sixth Street doesn't usually have much interaction with public security, so if they see officers handing stuff out all of a sudden, they might be wary and refuse. If it's a neighbor who brings them the questionnaire, maybe they'll be more open to it. Oh, we wouldn't want to trouble you. You two already did us a huge favor. It's only right we return the gesture. Zhu Yuan, since they're willing, we should let them help. Okay, thank you, really. Let's split up and meet back here later then.
Hello, Wise. Bell? Some customers mentioned you were looking for me. I understand you're helping those two officers from Public Security hand out questionnaires? General Chop, would you mind taking a look at this questionnaire? I'll pass. I figure it's about that seminar in Luminous Square. Anyway, please tell the officers I have other things to tend to that day. <sighs> I knew it. I had a feeling General Chop would say no before we even got here. And after I told Ju Yuan and Ching Yi we could help. Oh, have other people said no too? Yeah. Asha, Spike. Oh, and I think Tin Master and Enzo said no this morning too. Is there something going on? It's no big secret, it's just. Some of us older residents on 6th Street know some things you're not aware of. Do you two know who the guy on the questionnaire cover is? Isn't that Inspector Bringer? I heard he came up with the event. Then have either of you heard of the Hollow Hero from the Eridu period? So, you're saying Inspector Bringer was the Hollow Hero? That's right! Before the fall of the old capital, Bringer happened to be the commanding officer in my precinct. After being promoted from the front line, despite being an inspector, he still got involved at the ground level and interacted with the residents, so they regarded him highly. Then, he went missing in a hollow during a rescue mission. But just when everyone thought he was done for, he miraculously made it back out. Just like that, he became known as the Hollow Hero. He was then transferred to the HQ in Janice Quarter and quickly advanced to the ranks over the years. That's a pretty inspiring story. It used to be. But these days, people say the Hollows have drained the Hollow Hero of all his courage. Now, Bringer presents himself as a hard worker, but we older residents can see through it. He's just putting on an act in front of the cameras. What's more, in recent years, he's clearly been cozying up to tops. He's implemented a number of measures under the guise of benefiting the public, but it's those big corporations that benefit in the end. He's aiming for commander of Janus Quarter in the upcoming municipal election, launching a safety campaign right now, even putting his own image on the questionnaire. His motives are pretty clear, don't you think? It seems like Inspector Bringer is using public resources for his own gain. Hmm. Exactly. Holding the seminar is a good thing, but I can't go knowing what Bringer is up to. Thanks for telling us all this, General Chop. I'm just sorry I can't be of help this time around. Well, we visited all the neighbors. It might be awkward, but it's probably time we go back and tell Ju Yuan and Ching Yi the news. up and down 6th Street, but we haven't even gotten 10 people to register for the seminar. We've done our best. Let's get a drink and take a break. Hey, easy for you to say, but the conference hall we're in can fit 300 people, you know? As things stand, it'll be more than half empty. Inspector Bringer must have chosen this area because there's a lot of residents nearby, thinking it'd be easier to find people to participate. Shame many of them are from his previous precinct. A lot of them have complaints about him. <sighs> I was just wondering why you're in such low spirits today, when I've never seen you discouraged by difficult tasks before. But then I remembered. The inspector saved your life once. Not being able to accomplish what we'd hoped, on top of seeing him come under fire. It must make you feel even worse. Mm-hmm. If Ringer hadn't rescued me in that hollow back then, I wouldn't even be here, let alone be a public security officer. I understand he's no longer the hero he used to be, but can someone who gave up his anti-corruption gear to a child be such a bad guy? 
sure, he's had some dealings with Tops, but it's inevitable, especially when many of our devices are jointly developed with Tops. And, and besides, doesn't he always say he lacks sufficient authority to make changes? Hmm? If he gets elected, maybe he might be able to turn public opinion around. Worshipping an undeserving deity is sycophancy. Failure to act when action is needed shows a lack of courage. What? It means when someone flatters undeserving people, it's considered an act of sycophancy. If one should stand up for what is right but remains indifferent, it shows that person is a coward. As public security officers, we need to be clear about what we should and shouldn't do. There may be many different ways to interpret Inspector Bringer's actions, but only he knows whether he has a clear conscience. If his deeds were pure, even if he's misunderstood for the time being, things will work out in the end. Yeah, you're right. Hold on, someone's coming. Sorry, are we interrupting you two? Oh, we were just chatting. Did you go talk to the residents? We gave them the questionnaire, but they all happened to be busy on that day. Sorry for not being very helpful. Oh, it's okay. We're just grateful you tried it all. We're almost done with distributing the questionnaires here too. Then Chingy and I will be heading back to the office. Wait a minute! Officers! Uh, oh. Oh, good. You didn't go. Oh. General Chop, did you run all the way here? Why? It's hard to explain, but just now, there was a crime committed over there, and it's at a stalemate. Please, officers, you have to go take a look. A crime? Let's go check out the scene. Great! Please, follow me! Wise, let's go see what's going on. If you say there's officers nearby, then let them come and weigh in. I mean, what possible argument could there be? They were caught in the act. Sir, caught in the act doesn't seem fair. It's similar to seeing only foam on a cup of barley latte and declaring it isn't coffee. Calm down now, gentlemen. We're public security officers. What's going on here? Officers, you're finally here. It's like this. I'm Gail. I'm a driver for Pegasus Logistics. I was making a delivery in the neighborhood. I'd finished the delivery and was calling the next client when I heard a suspicious thud from the back of my truck. Startled by the noise, I quickly rushed over, only to find all my ducks flying and running out of the cargo compartment. A flustered Bangboo was caught at the scene of the crime. This is that very Bangboo. Look, Wise. Isn't that Bangboo give change from the 141 convenience store? Officers, I saw the whole thing. There was no one around when it happened except this Bangboo. I'm sure it opened my cargo compartment. Those ducks inside are a new specially bred variety. They're worth a fortune. Losing just one or two of them will cost me more than a month's salary. I've taken your statement, sir. Bangboo, do you have anything to add? <laughs> No, 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 no,
no, no, no, no, no. Hey, what do you mean the door was open? I know you opened the door and let all the ducks out. Sir, if I might say, I think you're being too harsh on Give Change. Officers, as Give Change's neighbor, I must say something on their behalf. I know them well, and I'm sure they wouldn't do anything like this. Then tell me, why was my cargo compartment open despite being locked? Officers, there's been tons of Bangboo committed crimes in the city lately. You gotta help me find evidence linking this Bangboo to the crime, so we can hold it accountable for my losses. This isn't just about Give Change's reputation, officers. They could lose their job. You simply must uncover the truth and prove Give Change's innocence. The only time I've seen Tin Master this agitated is when I asked for instant coffee. I can't believe there's been a crime on 6th Street, and that Give Change has gotten mixed up in it. Wise. Give Change was already working at 141 when we first moved here. I just don't believe it'd do something like this. But Give Change was the only one there when the driver realized what had happened. So it's hard to explain. Hmm? Look, people are leaving. Have Yuan and Xingyi resolved the incident? Let's go see what's going on. Hi, Belle. Hi, Wise. We overheard what happened earlier. Does the crowd leaving mean everything has been resolved? Not yet, unfortunately. We discussed the situation and managed to calm everyone down. Might I ask what the situation is now? We took a look around the truck, and we didn't find anything suspicious, other than the traces left by the escaped ducks. There are no security cameras in the area, so all that's left to be checked is the Bangboo's visual record and the truck's anti-theft system. And to review both of those, professional technicians are needed, so we don't have an immediate conclusion. Will that take a long time? I'm afraid so. It'll take about two or three days. Both the driver and Give Change will have their daily routine disrupted somewhat during this time. After we explained the situation, the driver said his main concern is the whereabouts of the cargo. As long as he can deliver the shipment on time today, he's willing to reconcile. So, Tin Master and some other residents of 6th Street went to look for the ducks. In that case, Wise, let's hurry up and go help too. We'll accompany you as well. Do officers in the Criminal Investigation Department look for things too? Cases like this would normally be assigned to junior officers, but handing the task over would take time, and we don't want the residents to think public security is evading responsibility. And there's something suspicious about this incident, so Chingy and I decided to look for other clues while searching for the ducks. G-U-N, Ching Yi. Thank you. Then let's get going. We're pretty good at finding things, right, bro?
Really wise? You totally forgot to turn off the lights last time you drove the car. That's weird. I definitely turned them off. Also, it was dark when I came back, so I'd have noticed if I'd left the lights on. Huh? What's going on? I can't turn off the lights. Is something wrong with the switch? I don't know, but nothing happens when I press it. The battery's gonna die at this rate. I'd better manually disconnect the lights for now. How weird. The car got serviced not that long ago. I just figured something would go wrong all of a sudden. Hey, is it just my imagination, or does this situation seem familiar? Hmm? What's wrong, Chingy? Something on your mind? All the incidents we've encountered today are somehow related to vehicles. Now that you mention it, you're right. The van in the convenience store wouldn't start, the car that just pulled out of the remodeling shop broke down, and now Weisenbell's car lights won't turn off. If we count the missing ducks from Pegasus Logistics, that's already four vehicles involved. If we count the car accident the other afternoon, that's five in total. That one wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been distracted while walking, though. But that wasn't totally my fault, Wise. My cell phone suddenly malfunctioned, and it distracted me. Hmm? Huh? Belle's cell phone malfunctioned before the car accident at Lumina Square? What kind of malfunction? She said her phone suddenly lost signal, and a bunch of colorful stripes appeared on the screen. But it went back to normal soon after. I knew it. Remember, Chingy? The driver said he was on the phone at the time of the car accident. If I'm right, something else must have been going on back then. Right. That's probably why Give Change said it felt dizzy, too. Just a sec. Could you tell us what you're talking about? I think we've finally figured out what's really behind all the recent incidents. For now, let's get the ducks back and see if we can confirm a few things along the way. Meet us near the truck later, and I'll explain everything. Zhu Yuan and Qing Yi told us to wait for them here. Did they come by? No. No. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Here's all that happened. They just came and measured the Bangboo's electrical current data logs, asked a weird question, then left in a hurry. Could you tell us what they asked? They asked me if my cell phone had malfunctioned in any way since I'd been on the phone during the incident. My phone actually did turn itself off out of nowhere, but how did they know that? Wait, your cell phone malfunctioned too? Uh, something just occurred to me. All the accidents lately. Could they be caused by EMP? You're quite right, Belle. Zhu Yuan, Ching Yi, you're back. Have you ever heard of an EMP emitter, sir? I can't say I have. What's that? When activated, it causes a sudden change of current in nearby electronic equipment, resulting in component failures or, at worst, completely burning out the equipment. Using EMP, someone could open the electronic lock on your van without even touching it, easily. At the moment your door was opened, not only did your phone malfunction, but Give Change experienced a sudden surge of current, all indicative of an EMP attack. So you mean... This Bang Boo is a victim, just like me? And someone else is at fault? Yes, we believe that to be the case. Uh, I shouldn't have been so hot-headed. What I said before... <laughs> Give change, I'm sorry I misjudged you. You have my sincerest apology. <laughs> so, who is the culprit, officers? Have you caught them? 
Don't worry. Our colleagues are checking the surveillance records. We should be able to identify the culprit real soon. They launched multiple EMP attacks today. So if we check all the passersby near the crime scenes, we can narrow down our search. Officer Zhu Yuan, we've investigated the surveillance records and have a suspect. We are currently tracking him near the street exit. Should we detain him for questioning? Immediately. Well done. Understood. Ah, officer, the suspect has fled. He's heading toward your location. Ching Yi, come on, we'll stop him. The suspect has fled into the hollow. We're pursuing him inside. Copy that! <sighs> I'd have thrown it harder if I'd known he was so tough. How are things going? The culprit ran into the hollow and we're going after him. You two can head back now. Let's follow them and see what happens, Wise. Yuan and Qingyi have gone into the hollow, Wise. While I'm sure they can handle the situation, we should go into the hollow and see if we can help. Yeah, we can't just let him get away with it. Are you mad at him because he almost caused me to have an accident? Even if he hadn't caused that accident, he needs to be held accountable for all the trouble on 6th Street. We can go whenever you're ready. By the way, even though you're angry, remember to keep your distance from Ju Yuan and Qingyi in the hollow. They are still officers, after all. Something? My services are expensive. <laughs> Let's take a break. last forever. If we act fast, we can catch the suspect before he gets away. Yeah, let's keep going. 